Pity 3 doesn't have a single player, or at least just yet. You can't hop into games solo without the help of mods. While mods are still in their very early days for Payday 3, one of the most powerful mods that you could download right now is a mod that lets you play games solo. In this video, I'll show you how to get exactly that setup on PC and hopefully get in game. The servers are a bit iffy, so we'll see about that last bit. Anyways, how do we do this? In the description down below, you'll find a link to the debug menu mod page on modworkshop.net. When we get here, we'll need to download and install UE4SS from this link here. We're downloading a 7-zip file from a Discord attachment from the modworkshop.net. Net Discord. This is what we need to do for now in the early stages as this GitHub page here isn't fully up to date or at least the latest releases aren't compatible with Payday 3 just yet. There is, however, a modified version created by one of the trusted mod developers that's available for download here. If you don't want to click this link and download the file straight away, you can join the Discord up here, then head across to the Payday 3 modding section, and in the pinned messages, you'll find, scrolling down a little bit, this section here. Full UE4SS until we get an actual release ready. Click the Download button here, and that'll download the same file. Just for quick verification, this user him has their Twitter linked. Not too sure why I haven't linked to GitHub directly, but anyways, navigating across here takes us to Twitter. We can follow it to GitHub. GitHub takes us to the section here for Narconon. We can see UE4SS over here. And of course, they're an official contributor to the actual project here. Of course, linking back from GitHub is the Twitter that takes us back to here. So it's pretty much an official download, or at least as official as it can get from the RE4SS mod up until they get a full release prepped and sent out. If things are still very early days. Anyways, you'll need 7-zip to open up this file or another RAR slash 7-zip extractor. Once you have it installed, you can open it up and you'll find all of these files here. What we need to do is drop these into our game install folder. So for Steam, right-click the game, manage browse local files, head into Payday 3 followed by binaries, Win64, and in here, we'll be dropping all of these files. If you're on the Game Pass version instead, like I am, click the three dots when you get to the Payday 3 page here, then select Manage, head up to Files, and browse. This will take us to where our Payday 3 is located. We can open Payday 3 followed by Consent, then Payday 3, Binaries, Win GDK this time, and here we have our game files. For Epic Games, it'll be similar. Essentially, we're just looking for the main Payday 3 client exe. Cool. Now what we need to do is extract all of these files from the UE4SS zip into this folder here, and now we have the first part of this mod installed. Now we can download the actual debug menu mod over here, clicking Download, and opening this up, we have a debug menu mod with scripts and other stuff inside of it. We'll be taking this folder here, debug menu mod, from inside the zip and place it into the mods folder that we just extracted in our game install folder here. Drag and drop it across, just like that, we're almost done. What we need to do is take the name of the folder, so I'll select it, hit F2, Control C to copy the text, open the mods.txt file down here, and inside of here, on a new line, we'll paste it in, space, colon, space, and enter one as such. Save the file and you can close it. Then we'll head back and you'll find the exe file here. What we need to do is create a launch argument to allow custom mod files to be loaded for the next section. If you're on Steam, you can right click Payday 3, select properties, then over here under launch options, we can add hyphen file open log as such. Otherwise, if you're on the Xbox Game Pass version, locate the exe file, right click and create a desktop shortcut. For me, it's hidden away here in my custom content text menu and I can move it across to my desktop just like that. What we can do is rename this something better, such as Payday 3, for example. We'll right-click it and hit Properties. Then inside of here, you'll find the full path to the EXE, surrounded by double quotes. Navigate all the way to the very end, enter space, hyphen, file, open, log, as such, hit Apply, OK, and we can close it. If you're on the Xbox Game Pass version, navigate back to the Payday 3 Binaries WinGDK folder and rename X Input 1.3, 1 underscore 3 to 1 underscore 4, as as such, now we can head across to the next link in the description down below to download the Solo Game Utils mod that allows us to pause the game. Obviously, this is only a suggested mod. You don't actually really need this to play solo. It's just a nice thing to have, but obviously you don't need this. I'll click Download to download the pack file here. Then we'll need to navigate across to Payday 3, Payday 3 Content Packs and create a tilde mods folder like this. I'll select 
tilde mods, right click and copy. Then wherever our game is located, whether it's WinGDK or whatever you are, head back to the Payday 3 folder where we have binaries and open up content this time, followed by packs and inside of him, we'll hit Control Shift N to make a new folder, paste in tilde mods and hit enter. Then we'll drag the file that we just downloaded into him and we're pretty much done. If you download it multiple times, just make sure to remove the brackets number after it as such. All right, now we can launch up the actual game itself. If you have the game on Steam, just make sure you have the file open log argument, otherwise the game will crash upon launching and not launch at all. If you have it on the Xbox Game Pass, you'll need to launch it from the desktop shortcut that we just modified. So I'll open it from here. All right, well, there we go. The server's are back up, so now we're in game. You'll hit the main menu and you'll see everything as usual. But what's changed is in the more tab at the very top, we now have old heist selection underneath quid game. If we click this, we get presented with this very bright menu, but we can choose from any one of the maps even if you haven't unlocked them. I assume there's supposed to be a picture of the map in the background, but anyways, maybe the mod's just broken for me for now. We can choose a difficulty, very similar to Payday 2. Choose a map, I'll choose maybe Road Rage, and we can either host, matchmake, or play solo. So, I'll play solo him. It'll fire us straight into the game, skipping the lobby entirely. And there we go, without searching for a game or anything like that, we're dropped straight in with bots. Cool, everything worked exactly as we would have hoped. Now, on top of this, things are happening, people are moving, but if we hit escape, we can now pause the game and everything's paused. Pretty cool. You now have pretty basic vanilla solo offline gameplay. Well, not really offline, but you get the point. This mod has brought back a lot that this game is missing and should have had to begin with. It's a really cool, powerful mod, especially if you're someone who likes to play solo, especially quietly on longer maps and you want to do things properly, but you may need to go AFK. Hitting escape doesn't pause the game. Things still move around in the background until you toggle the pause, etc. Anyways, that's really about it for the super quick guide. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!